Fitzy, uh, it's been 10 days since you uh, joined Morecambe Football Club. Uh, first of all, how are you finding it? Um, absolutely loving every minute uh, so far. Uh, and long hope it continues. Uh, but yeah, really positive start. It was uh, coming into obviously the Swansea game, first day in, training, travelling down to Swansea and then the whole experience down, obviously with the FA Cup, it's been a massive part of what everybody loves and having the opportunity um, and the whole day, although the result didn't go where we want, we thought the performance in the first half uh, was really good. We were really pleased with how that went and obviously the fans were amazing that day. So it was a great um, start in my eyes coming in and seeing the backing that we got on the day for the fans, for the, for the players, even the players, oh, they really recognised how much, uh, how important the fans were that day and wanted to try and give something back. And then uh, coming straight into a few games, uh, again, obviously to look at a lot of the players against uh, Barrow last week. So that was the first really, again, a couple of days in the training and then coming into the Mansfield game where we really got to starting to settle and starting to get to know the lads and get on the pitch with them a lot more and work on some stuff that hopefully came out so it's been yeah, it's been really exciting so far and like I say I'm loving every minute of it. I think just sticking with matters on the field like you say you touch on the Mansfield game there it was uh, an excellent performance against you know a team uh, hugely regarded by many as, as uh, automatic promotion contenders. Um, you must have been really delighted with, 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 with the, the teamwork, but, but the display as well. Yeah, well, like we say, we put got a little bit of some of the information that myself and the gaffer wanted to get across in training to build on the foundations that's already in place here. Um, and the lads have bought into it really quick. And hopefully with, with that type of performance against, we, we do know they are one of the top teams in the league but it just it shows for our lads that to believe in that we can be one of them top teams because can we can we know we've got the players within the building with their work rate and attitude if they can pull that out that we can keep progressing ourselves up the league and start pushing towards that direction. I have to mention the new lads that came in for that Mansfield game as well uh, Guion, Archie and Joe um, of course, replacing the, the, the lads that had since uh, departed the football club after yeah. fantastic service in the first half of the season. But, you know, the, the new lads come in and, and really hit the ground running, which again must have really pleased you. Yeah, it, obviously we got a couple of days with Joe. He's only, he'd been only been in the building two days, but we knew we've, we've got to know a little bit of his background. And we've managers managed to see him, we've seen some if, and get the information from some of the staff we know at Wigan and the, how he is well thought of there and then coming in and really hitting the ground running that first 45 60 minutes he had was a brilliant uh Guion is a uh well established professional he's played obviously at championship level uh, he's someone who can come in and give good experience speak to the lads bring really even some of the younger players on we're speaking with them and hopefully it's a platform for them to really um push on and again like we said the what we want with it from within and hopefully for the supporters to see is that we want to push up the league and the the players that we've got here already and with the new additions that are coming in that we can really aim to do that. We talk about new additions and bringing players in um, just looking at yourself specifically quite a a, a big coaching background, but also uh, a, a background in recruitment as well. You coming in, that must really help, you know, the gaffer and, and the staff. Yeah, I, obviously I've spent a lot of time around a lot of young players and um, wanting to develop them. So he knows we've got some young, young players here and they're really willing to want to learn. Um, so I'm hoping I can help even some of the senior, more senior pros there. They still want to be better, they, you know, they want to improve, they want to progress. Um, and that's obviously what really key part of the job. Um, and also looking at recruitment with, again, young players, players we know around the system um, and hoping we can bring that type of player in who is hungry, wants to develop, wants to progress. And we want to give them the platform to do that. Um, 
but it's also beneficial for myself and the gaffer and all the other staff, Johnny Mack, and that we can bring these type of players in and hopefully develop them. Maybe for them to move on, but also help us progress through the league. Just sticking with uh, your working relationship with the gaffer, um, I think we spoke on your first day about your pre-established working relationship with him. Um, 10 days in, how beneficial has that been in terms of allowing you to come in and just crack on rather than forging those relationships? It's uh, it's all part of developing that trust. I'm also, you know, I'm very appreciative for the gaffer giving me the opportunity to come in and he knows how I work. Um, he knows where what he wants from me. So, and he's given me, again, like we said, with the players, the platform to go, go out and do that. He, we, we've got an understanding of how we want to play. Um, and with us having that previous relationship and trying to build that through from younger players coming through with him into the under 23s and then working around the under 23s with him and seeing how he works is uh, we've got that good sort of relationship because we're on a similar sort of understanding of where we want to go. And I think it'd be remiss of me not to mention we talk about you coming in and hitting the ground running. Um, obviously, you've not necessarily worked with the other staff members before, but straight away, those working relationships have really, you know, come into fruition. Yeah, it's uh, one thing, like I said, the uh, uh, manager said to me straight away, he said, we've got some really good people, as in players and in staff. Um, and that's one of my personal, as well as, like I said, with, even with the gaffer, our key principles is that you're good people and you create a really good environment. So we've, he said that's already in place. So these lads who are in here, they, they know the club well. So I've got to use, use them to gather more knowledge of the club. You know, you're not, you're not going to get a better understanding of someone like Lesu Kitman, 28 years in the job at the club. He knows the ins, the outs, the, you know, where the club's been, where he wants it to go. So you, you've got to utilise their knowledge uh, to gain an understanding of how, the, how it works with the fan base, how it works with the staff within. Um, but I generally, like I say, I'm a quite chatty person. Um, if we want to be positive, we, we look at that and that's what he, he also wants me to bring into, that we're, we have that around there and we have good relationships with all the staff because everyone needs to work together to get to the end goal where we want to be. Speaking of working together, uh, we sat here talking in the middle of January. Um, still a long way to go before, obviously, the uh, the deadline at the end of the month. Um, got a, a few plans up your up your sleeve, but how excited are you to, to bring more players in to, to really strengthen this squad? It's, we're, we're definitely, as the manager said, we're definitely looking to bring in additions. But the additions that come in have got to be the right character. They've got to be the right character for the club. They've, like we said, we want hungry players who are willing to come in and work, it's a, like I say, it's an opportunity for them to come into the club and develop further down the line. But also, it's a, it's great for us because we've got that sort of openness to help them do that and then not for them to help us do that. So there's definitely plans of players that we're trying, we're still continuing to get in to improve the squad, but also they've got to be the right characters for the changing room that's a really good change of room with a really good set of lads at the minute so we don't want to break the mould on that and that's where like I say the, some of the directions we want to go that you've got to buy into what the not just us as staff want but the players want as well to keep that because we want that positive environment because then that should show on the field. Absolutely and, and, and finally just, uh, just to round things up we look a bit further beyond the uh, the January window um, looking towards you know the end of the season um, how much are you personally relishing the challenge that awaits as we approach the, the business end of the campaign? Well obviously we've got our own personal targets within that we want to try and achieve we want to progress up the table we we'll obviously want to develop a squad and we want it uh, a place where well, like I say we we said it the other day we want uh, the fans we, we need them behind us but we want to also we've got to give the fans something back so we want it to be uh, a low disciplined team but we want to be exciting we want to give them something to be on the edge of their seats so it, that's the part of the excitement we want running to the end of the season and if we can make it enjoyable for everyone and pick up a lot of points on the way 
um, who knows where we can get towards to the end of the season. Um, but really looking forward to them next few months and hopefully continue enjoying it as much as I am at the moment.